Yes, I'm Roman, and welcome to Saint Quentin, the city of heart in history. It is located in the heart of the Paris, London, Brussels Triangle, and it offers an experience like no other in the European metropolises. It's a city of history. The traces of the First World War has left an almost indelible mark on Saint Quentin, from the outbreak of hostilities to the liberation and the upheavals caused by the fighting. On August 28, 1914, when the German soldiers entered the city, its inhabitants endured one of the darkest periods of their lives. 36 months of occupation, followed by an exodus, then a return to a devastated city, partially annihilated. The city also endured several concentrated aerial bombardments, all of which contributed to its desolation. So already we can begin to understand the rich history and heritage, even though sad, of this beautiful city. Bring the funk back. Culture and heritage are concerned, Saint Quentin offers a diverse platter catering to every palate. With nine museums and a wealth of structures worthy of open air museums, you may go where your desire takes you. First, we have Le Musée des Papillons. Discover the world of insects and all their secrets. There's a rich and incredible collection dating back more than a century. My favorite part about this museum is the virtual room where you're able to see through the eyes of a butterfly, and it is simply spectacular, you have to see it. 
However, this would be the only museum that I visit today because the others were either too far. For example, some of them were at least 30 kilometers away by car and the others were unfindable because I didn't have enough time to search well enough. Nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed your visit. Let's continue with your tour. Feel the fire burning our tour today of San Quentin, an interesting city I must say that is rich in history and art too but mainly history. However, unfortunately I did not have enough time to view the city because one, a lot of unexpected things happened today. Nonetheless, I came here with the little time that I had, around two hours, just two hours, not even a second more because I have my train pretty soon and I've missed one already. But nonetheless, what I like particularly about the city was something I didn't know when I did my research and that is that there is a beach here which is simply awesome. Another aspect of San Quentin is that there are trees planted in diverse places and I definitely love that. Also there's a Parc Champ Elysee here which is quite interesting so it seems a little bit bourgeois so you know that San Quentin has some money. Nonetheless if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below, like, share, leave a comment and I'll see you next time. Ciao!